Yes, my Lord, King of glory, I worship you today, I glorify you. You are mighty, you are worthy, you are awesome, you are a great God. I give you glory today, I give you praise. Oh, hallelujah, 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 my God. You reign victoriously, King of glory. Lord, you have the power to heal, you have the power to save. The gospel is the power of God to save. The gospel is the power of God to liberate, to set the captives free. I worship you even today. I glorify you. I give you praise, King of glory. You are worthy of all my praise. You are worthy of all the honor and all the glory. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy, King of glory. You are worthy in the house of God. You are worthy. My heart blesses you, King of glory. My heart glorifies the Lord. My heart speaks of your greatness, King of glory. My heart says you are worthy. My heart says you are mighty. You have all the power. Lord, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And there is no God like unto thee. There is no king like unto thee. There is no Jehovah like unto thee. There is no king like our king. There is no ruler like our ruler. Lord, you rule in mercy. You rule in love. Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your anointing. Lord, we thank you because you love us. Lord, you loved us even when we did not deserve to be loved. Lord, you cared for us even we did not when we didn't deserve it we love you back king of glory we love you because you first loved us we love you because you are mighty and this our prophetic prayer in this our prophetic prayer we want to glorify you in this prophetic prayer moment we want to speak of your greatness Lord I thank you for everybody watching us, everybody online today, I worship you for them I worship you for their families I worship you for everybody watching us today, I worship you for everybody that is turned on to this prophetic prayer moment I thank you for their children I thank you for their families I thank you because they are born to win. I thank you because they are born to succeed. No weapon fashioned against our members shall prevail. In the name of Jesus, every devil that is against their family shall be defeated. Every devil that is against their loved ones shall be defeated. Every devil that is against their businesses shall be defeated. Every devil that is against everything they do shall be defeated. Every devil that is against whatever they start to do shall be defeated. In the name name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as we pray today as we call upon your name my Bible declares that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered Lord, we call upon your name. Lord, we call upon your name. That we declare that we shall be delivered. Deliverance is ours. Power is ours. Glory is ours. Fame is ours. Because we call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible declares that my people shall never be ashamed. I hear against every spirit of shame. Every spirit of cowardice. Every spirit of fear. Every spirit of turning back. In the name of Jesus. I break it today. In the name of the Lord. I break every spirit of cowardice in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare let power follow us. Let honor follow us in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares you shall seek me and I shall be found of you. Lord, we seek you today. We call upon your name. We seek you today. Everybody that is committed to seeking you, may you be found of them in the name of Jesus. Everybody that is fond of seeking you, Lord, may be found of them in the name of Jesus. Lord, answer them. Answer everybody. The Bible declares that when two shall agree on anything, our Father shall do it. In this time of prayer, in this time of prayer, Lord, we agree. I agree on every situation afflicting your people, every issue that is afflicting your people, your pasture, your children, whom you have chosen oh, and purchased with your own blood, King of glory. Lord, every situation, every demonic oppression, every demonic oppression, every devil that is binding them, every devil that is binding their children, I command every devil to let go loose in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. You demolish the God of the children of God, these people, in the name of Jesus. That you want to declare. They want to declare in the name of the Lord that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. I want to declare that no weapon fashioned against your family shall prosper. I want to declare that no weapon fashioned against your children shall prosper. I want to declare no weapon fashioned against your house shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am here to pray. I am here to declare. I am here to, uh, go to compel every spirit of the devil that is against your children to break right now in the name of Jesus I pray for you wisdom I pray for you understanding I pray for you mercy I pray for you mercy let God is mercy lead you let God is mercy go ahead of you let God is mercy go ahead of you even as we pray today in the name of Jesus you are waiting upon the Lord my Bible declares they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength how I pray my father that everybody that is waiting upon you they shall never be put to shame in the name of the Lord whoever that is waiting upon the Lord shall never be put to shame the devil is a liar the devil is a liar the devil is a liar if you're waiting upon the Lord you're not going to be ashamed I say you're not going to be ashamed people have been laughing at you asking you where is your God but I am praying today I am praying today may God appear your God shall appear your God shall not delay fire shall not devour before him. Your God shall appear. I say your God shall appear and he shall do it suddenly in the name of the Lord. Your God shall appear. The devil is a liar. Your God shall appear and he shall win. Your God shall appear and he shall get that visa. Your God shall appear and you shall get that job. Your God shall appear. And you shall get the promotion. Your God shall appear. And you shall be healed. In the name of Jesus. You shall go back to the same doctor. Who will check to you and say that. And confirm you are ill. And confirm your illness. And confirm your sickness. You shall go back to the same doctor. They shall check. They shall cut out a test. And they shall give you good report. In the name of the Lord. Not by power nor by might. But by the spirit of the living God. How I declare today, let your glory father, let your glory fall, let your anointing fall in the name of Jesus. As we pray to that prophetic prayer moment, every brother is stand on, every brother that is sharing with your friends, every brother is using their platform to preach this gospel to invite your friend that your friend will invite their friend in the name of Jesus I am praying for you as you're making God's word to be known as you're making God to be famous as you're making God to be famous as you're making God's word to be known may God make your name known in the name of the Lord the Bible declares God said to Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12 God said to Abraham I will bless you and I'll make your name greater I will bless you. I will make your name greater. Listen to me, my friend. God cannot bless you and doesn't make your name greater. When God blesses you, when he makes your name greater, I am praying for you today that God will bless you wherever you are. You are not very far removed from the presence of God. You may seem to be very far from where I am, but you are not very far from where God is. I am praying today that God will bless you. I am praying today that the blessing of God which maketh rich and addeth no sorrow unto it, the blessing of God which breaketh every yoke, the blessing of the Lord. Lord, that delivers from every poverty, the blessing of the Lord, that delivers from every rejection, the blessing of the Lord, that delivers from every disfavor, the blessing of God, that delivers from every spirit of backwardness, the blessing of the Lord, that maketh rich, may it rest upon you today, I am praying to God, may the blessing of God, I say may the blessing of God, that maketh rich, come upon you today, in the name of Jesus, the blessing of God. I said the blessing of God. The devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. The blessing of God which maketh rich. May it come upon you today. The blessing of God that maketh rich. May it come upon your family. May it come upon your children. Let your children excel. Whatever they are doing, let them excel. In the name of the Lord, my dear friend, you've been complaining, gambling, and murmuring. You didn't know what happened. You didn't know the reason why things are happening. Things are happening at the breathing, taking 
space up things are happening the with way you don't understand that things are happening the way you do not even comprehend but the bible declares up in the book of Romans uh, chapter 8 uh, that we know that all things work uh, together for the good uh, to those that love the Lord uh, to those that are called uh, according to his purpose uh, my dear friend uh, if you loving the Lord uh, this is happening for your good uh, you may say but pastor I don't know how can this be happening for my good uh, my Bible declares uh, that it's happening for your good uh, you may not understand it uh, the Bible doesn't say that everything is good uh, but the Bible declares uh, everything Everything worketh together for your good. It is working for your good. Let the devil know this is working for my good. Let the demons know this is working for my good. Let every every family devils know this is working for my good. People may be laughing at you. But it is working for your good. People may be rejoicing because of your fall. People may be rejoicing because everything is standing against you. But let me tell you, my friend, if you're loving the Lord, if you're in love with God, this is working for your good. You're about to see the good that is going to come out of this. In the name of Jesus, how I am praying. I am praying it to God. This is to work for your good. I am praying it to God. May this work for your good. Let the devil know this is working for my good. Let the demons know this is working for my good. Let every family sister demon know this is working for my good. It is working for my good. It is working for my good. It is working for my good. In the name of Jesus, it is working for my good. Let every devil know this is working for my good. You may it may have taken you time. It may have taken you time. You're going through trouble. You're going through turmoil. You're going through regret. Everything is standing against you. But my Bible declares it is working for your good. Let the devil know about this. It is working for your good. In the name of praying to God, let God bring out the good out of this bad. My Bible declares in the book of Psalm that my God turns cursing into blessing. I am praying that this cursing will become a blessing, will turn into a blessing. And you are saying how? You are saying how? My Bible declares that I am the God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for me. That God can turn your cursing into a blessing. How I am praying today that every cursing will come to blessing in the name of Jesus. Every cursing in your life, everything that the devil has used to bring you down, may it become a blessing. I say everything that the devil has used to bring you down, to bring your family down, to bring your children down. May God turn it around into blessing in the name of Jesus. How I am praying now in the name of Jesus. Yes, the doctors have given you a bad report and they are saying that you may not make it. You may not survive this. But I am praying. I am here now on the altar of God praying and calling upon heaven. May this turn into a testimony. In the name of Jesus, may people hear about this. May people read your medical report and hear you testify. In the name of Jesus, and I want to declare, people are going to read your medical report and hear you testify because the Lord is doing it. He's taking the illness out of your body. As we pray right now, I command every illness out of your body. I say out of your body. In the name of Jesus, I command that illness out of your body. Receive healing. I say receive healing. I say receive healing. The power of God is touching you now. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. I say receive your healing in the name of Jesus. The power of God is hitting you now. I can feel the power of God hitting you right now. Taking the high blood pressure out of your body in the name of Jesus. Take it out now in the name of Jesus. I can sense the might hand of God touching you now. I can sense the nailed pierced right arm of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The son of God. The hand that was nailed. It is touching you right now. It is touching you right now. Receive your healing. I say receive your healing. By the stripes of Jesus, you've been healed. I say you've been healed. I say you've been healed. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, the Bible declares, I am the Lord. 
that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. So receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I declare healing. I declare healing. There comes healing now in the name of Jesus. That my brain headache is healing right now. That fever is healing right now. That cancer is healing right now. That HIV and AIDS is healing right now. That tuberculosis is healing right now. That chest pain is healing right now. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. I say receive your healing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your healing. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is healing you. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing. I declare healing. The Lord healeth thee. The Lord healeth thee. In the name of Jesus, the pain in your chest, it is coming out now as we pray now, calling upon Jehovah, calling upon God. The hand of God is reaching out to thee. The Bible declares that my hand, the hand of the Lord is not too shortened that it cannot save. The light hand of God has become glorious in power. Yes, the might hand of the Lord has dashed the enemy in pieces. I declare today the might hand of the Lord to dash that illness into pieces. To dash that illness into pieces in the name of Jesus. Somebody you are watching me now. You got a problem with your legs. I command that problem to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, be healed right now. Receive your healing. I shall receive your healing. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I say, I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. The Lord maketh you well. The Lord makes you well. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. God is healing you now. I say, God is healing you now. By the stripes of Jesus, you've been healed. By the stripes of Jesus, you've been healed. Receive your healing. I say, receive your healing. Those eyes problem are healing right now. In the name of Jesus, that mouth problem, you have a bad breath. I command it now. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord healeth thee. I said the Lord healeth thee. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive the healing of God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody God is healing you from the hearing problem. God is healing you from the eye problem. God is healing you from the migraine headache. It is healing you now. I break every witchcraft. Every foul spirit of witchcraft. I break it right now. In the name of Jesus. The Bible declares us. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Somebody, God is healing you now. Receive your healing. Receive your healing by the stripes of Jesus. God be healed now, my friend. In the name of Jesus, God is healing you. Taking the pain out of your body. Taking the pain out of your feet. You got swollen feet. I command them healed. In the name of Jesus, I command a problem. The problem, the problem, the private problem. You call it private. But God doesn't call it private. The Bible declares the Lord knows you. The Lord knows you. He knows my inward parts. He knows my inward part. He knows everything about you. He knows your inside. He knows your outside. He knows everything on you. He knows everything in you. And I pray to God to stretch his hand to touch the place where everybody doesn't want to touch up in the name of Jesus and heal you today and heal you today and heal you today and heal you today in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit of leukemia, that foul spirit of leukemia, out of you now. I command the spirit of cancer, out of you now. In the name of Jesus, you're not going to die. I say you're not going to die. You're going to live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. I say you're not going to die. The Bible declares I shall not die, but I shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You're not going to die. The devil is a liar that bombarding thoughts of death are lying now and I defeat them now. I defeat every thought, I defeat every spirit thought of death in the name of Jesus. I defeat it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every foul spirit of death 
every thought, every thought, I defeat every thought in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares the word of God is quick and active, sharper than the twenty sword, piercing through the marrows, piercing through the bones. In the name of Jesus, I speak the word of God into you. I speak the word of God into you, into you right now. I say, into you right now. Receive the healing. I say, receive the healing, the healing of the Father, the healing of the Son, the healing of the Holy Spirit comes upon you now in the name of Jesus. I don't know what I'm praying for today, but the Lord is showing me there is a house, there is a house. Disease have become disease, illness have become illness from the young to the old, from the young to the old. When this one gets up, this one falls down, but I attack every illness. I attack every sickness, I attack every oppression, every spirit of the oppressor out of your house, every spirit of oppressor out of your house, I rebuke which could after, I rebuke which could after, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke which could after, thou shalt not die, nobody is going to die in the second half of the year 2020, you're not going to bury your loved ones, in the name of Jesus, I command death out of your house, in the name of Jesus, that overing spirit of death, I command it now. Now, out of your house today. I say out of your house today. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I am praying today. Let the glory of God. Let the glory of God. Be over your God. The glory of God. Be over your God. In the name of Jesus. I am praying to God. Let the glory of God. Be your really God. In the name of the Lord. I speak healing into you. In the name of the Lord. My Bible declares. In the book of Exodus. Chapter 15. That you shall serve the Lord your God. He shall bless your bread and your waters. And none shall be barren. Nothing shall be barren in your minister. Nothing shall be barren in your minister. And nothing shall cast their young. I declare today the spirit of barrenness. I command the spirit of barrenness in your life to break up. In the name of Jesus. Everybody that is barren. If you got somebody that is barren. I want you to tuck them right now. As we make this prayer. Everybody that is a womb has refused to give birth to babies. Every part of their womb has refused to yield the fruit of its womb. In the name of Jesus, tag them right now. Tag your friend that is barren. I want to send a word. The Bible declares in the book of Psalm 107, verses 20, that God sent his word and his word healed them. All the sons of the only man who in the book of Matthew, when he came to Jesus and he said to him, my servant is ill. He's about to die. He's about to die. He's about to die. He was so afflicted. The servant was so sick. And the only man, when he came to Jesus, Jesus said to him, I will go and heal him. I will go touch him. That will heal him. But the centurion man objected to it. When he said, I am unworthy that you may come to the under the roof of my house. Just speak the word. Because I'm also a man under authority. When I said to this one, go, he goeth. When I said to this one, come, he cometh. Speak the word. Just speak the word. I know when you speak the word, my servant will be well. When you speak the word, I will be healed. When you speak the word, my children shall be healed. When you speak the word, the womb, I will, the fruit of the womb shall be restored in, unto me. When you speak the word, I will receive the power. By faith, Ivan Sarah herself received the power to conceive. When she had judged him faithful, he who had promised, just speak the word. My womb will be fruitful. Just speak the word. This curse of boundless will be broken. Just speak the word. I am speaking the word right now into you. I'm speaking the word into you right now. In the name of Jesus, I am speaking the word into your womb. In the name of Jesus, I command you, you trust. I command your womb to become alive. In the name of Jesus, I command your womb to become alive. Every complication in your womb, I destroy it now. In the name of Jesus, come on, tag your friend that is barren. As I make this prayer, every fruit of every spirit of the devil that was Binding that was seated on the mouth of your uterus. I command the devil to remove his that hand from your uterus, from your womb. In the name of Jesus, I release you now into your miracle. I release you now into your miracle. In the name of Jesus, I release you now into your miracle. Receive the power to conceive. The Bible declares in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, the Sarah 
by faith. Even Sarah herself received the power to conceive. May you receive the power right now to conceive. When you meet with your loved one, you shall conceive in the name of Jesus. I do not care what the doctors termed it to be. They may have called us low, they may have called it low sperm counter. They may have called us it complications in your womb. They may call it complications in your uterus. They may call it whatever they call it. Whatever term they give it. The Bible declares, I am the Lord that will be. The Bible declares in the book of Psalm chapter 103, you mm, 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 bless the Lord. Come on, do it everybody. Bless the Lord. If you're barren, bless the Lord. If the doctors say you never give birth, come on, bless the Lord. Why do I bless him, pastor? When I, when I am afflicted, when I'm rejected, when everybody's saying I am barren, why should I bless the Lord? Come on, do it now. Bless the Lord by faith. The Bible declares, oh my God, bless the Lord. Oh my soul, bless the Lord. My soul, get up and bless the Lord. Get up and bless the Lord. Get up and praise God. Get up and give Him glory. 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 Give, give Him glory. Worship Him, everybody. Speak of His goodness. Speak of His mercy. Come on, come on. Speak of the mercies of the Lord. Speak of the grace of God. I will speak of your goodness. I will speak of your mercy. You are the God who performs miracles. You are the God who performs wonders. You are the God who performs wonders. You are God who makes the parent to conceive. You are the God who makes the parent to sit in the house. Oh my God. I worship you today. I glorify you, my Father. I speak of your mercy. I speak of your mercy. I speak of your graceness. I speak of your power. I speak of your power. You rule and overrule. Your kingdom have no end. In the name of Jesus, you're the God who heals. You're the God who delivers. You're the God who makes the poor all to become rich. You're the God who, re who takes the poor from the dash hill and make them sit with the princess. You are the God I worship you. You are the God I glorify you. You are the God I speak of your greatness. You are the God. Come on, bless the Lord. Do it. Bless the Lord. You are alive. You are alive. You are breathing. Come on, bless the Lord. If you are alive, God can do it. this. The Bible declares the one who calls his faithful, he can also do this. Come on, bless the Lord. Come on, do it right now. Bless the Lord my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Come on, his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul. And do not forget all his benefits. If the Lord has ever done it for you, bless the Lord. If the Lord has ever delivered you before, bless the Lord. If the Lord has ever made that way for you, bless the Lord. If the Lord has ever raised you, bless the Lord. If the Lord has ever made that way for you, bless the Lord. If the Lord has ever given you favor, bless the Lord. If you have ever seen anybody testify of the goodness of the Lord. Bless the Lord because your, ne your miracle is next. If you have ever watched a miracle on TV, if you have ever watched a miracle, if you have ever watched a miracle if the Lord has ever answered your prayer, if the Lord has ever done it for you, bless the Lord. Do not forget his benefits. Do not forget that you are still alive. Do not forget that you are breathing. Do not forget that your legs can still move. Do not forget can still feel and touch. Do not forget that your nose can still smell. Do not forget that your tongue can still talk. Bless the Lord. Do not forget that your brains can still think. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Because your feet can still move. Bless the Lord. If you can do, if you can talk, come on, bless the Lord. Let everything that has breath, bless the Lord. Come on, do it now. Do it now. Bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be magnified. He is worthy to be glorified. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Come on, bless the Lord. He is worthy of the praise. He is worthy of the honor. He is worthy of the glory. He is worthy, my Father. He is worthy, my Father. I will glorify him. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be magnified. He is worthy is worthy is worthy come on the lord is worthy he has protected your children he has protected your family our god is worthy come on bless the lord our god is worthy he has saved you until now he has reserved the best for the last occasion bless the lord he has saved the safety until today many have died but you're still alive you're still breathing you're still running come on come on 
bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And do not forget all his benefits. Who forgiven thee of all thy iniquities. And healeth thee of all thy diseases. Our God has the power to heal. Our God has the power to deliver. Our God has the power to liberate. Our God has the power to set the captives free. Our God, our God. When God turned again the captivity of Zion, we look like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with the laughter. And our tongue with his singing, then he said, "Say among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. Surely, 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 without contradiction, surely without reservations, surely the Lord has done great things for us. That's why we are glad. That's why we rejoice. That's why we jubilate. That's why we glorify you. Surely the Lord has done great things for us. We bless you, Lord. We glorify you, Father." We speak of your greatness. Our God is mighty. Our God is worthy. Our God is worthy. Our God is worthy. Our God is worthy. Our God is mighty. Our God is awesome. Our God is awesome. We will bless his holy name in the name of the Lord. We will bless his holy name in the name of the Lord. Lay, Lord, we bless you. I bless you for every barren that is receiving a miracle. Every barren that is receiving a miracle. They are receiving power. Receive the power right now. The power to conceive. The power to conceive, it is coming upon you now. The power to conceive comes upon you now. In the name of Jesus, the power to conceive. Sarah herself received the power to conceive. I am praying now that you receive the power to conceive. The power of the Holy Ghost, receive it now to conceive, to be able to conceive. May power enable you to conceive. May power break every witchcraft and you be enabled to conceive. May power break every every negative medical report and you may command to conceive in the name of Jesus may the power of God break every barrier that you may be able to conceive in the name of Jesus that the Bible declares so I receive the power to conceive may you receive power power right now we receive it in the place of prayer the power of God is received in the place of prayer I declare now receive power I say receive power Power to conceive, power to conceive in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, power, power to conceive in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. And I declare, may you have children in the name of Jesus. My Bible declares, you shall not be barren, none shall be barren in our land. In the name of Jesus, if you're in the land on this planet, after you must not be barren. In the name of Jesus, you must not be barren. You may touch your womb now that you bury as we pray in the name of Jesus I will lose your womb I open your womb by the power of the Holy Spirit by the grace of God I open your womb in the name of Jesus you shall conceive you shall have children in the name of the Lord I am praying for you that is believing God for money I am praying for you that is believing God for money may God open the windows of heaven the Bible declares I will open to you the windows of heaven and rain up blessings upon you and you shall have no room to contain it. I pray to God to open for you the windows. Let the windows open. Let the bloody gates of heaven open. Open right now. I say open right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I glorify you. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you glory. Father, I give you honor. I feel the presence of God in the house. I feel the presence of God in the studio right now. I feel the presence of God as I am praying. As I am praying now, God is healing you. God is delivering you. You shall have children. Father, I give you glory. Father, I give you honor. Father, I give you praise. You are so worthy. You are so mighty. 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 I command money to come. I command doors to open. Doors open right now. Doors open right now. Let every door open. God open doors. God open doors right now. In the name of Jesus. God open doors. God open doors. God open doors. God open doors. The devil is a liar. May God open the doors. May God open the doors. The devil is a liar. May God open the doors. May God open the doors. May God open the doors. May that door be opened. May that visa be granted. May that attic 
get be granted. May that faith be granted. In the name of Jesus, they laughed at you. They said you can't. But I declare today that you can. I declare today that God with you can do this. He that calls is faithful and is also able to do this. Our God shall do it. Our God shall answer. Our God shall not delay. Our God shall not delay. Our God shall not delay. The devil is a liar. You are not going down. My Bible declares the day that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles. You shall fly. You shall fly above every witchcraft of your family. In the name of Jesus, I come here to destroy every powers of witchcraft of your family. Every powers of witchcraft of your family. I break it right now. In the name of Jesus, every powers of witchcraft of your family, I break it now. In the name of Jesus, you are free by grace. You are free by the anointing. My Bible declares, and it shall come to pass, my brother, my sister, it shall come to pass. You have waited upon it for so long, but it shall come to pass. Some of you are saying, it's a long, it's long due, but it shall come to pass. Some of you are saying oh, the time has passed, but it shall come to pass, because my Bible declares it shall come to pass. You have waited upon it until you are losing your hope, but it shall come to pass. You've been expecting God to do something, but it looks like God has forgotten you. I want to remind you, my friend, it shall come to pass. It is like everybody has forgotten you. It's like people laughing at you. It's like people asking you, where is your God. I want to stand and declare it shall come to pass. Everybody is asking you. Other people are getting married. Your siblings are getting married. Your friends are getting married. You are just every time you are a matron. You are an organizer. You are a mobilizer. But when are you getting married? I want to declare to you now. It shall come to pass. Everybody is getting a job. Everybody is building a house. But it seems like you are being forgotten. I want to declare to you now. It shall come to pass. Everybody is saying, where is your God? I want to say it shall come to pass. Everybody is saying, where is your God? We see you going to church. We see you carrying the Bible. We see you confessing every day. It shall come to pass, my friend. God is delay is not his denial. It may seem to be like God is delaying, but I want to declare to you, it shall come to pass. The devil is a liar. I said that devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. The Lord shall do it. The Lord shall do it. In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall do it. It shall come to pass. I say it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. When the baron is having children and nursing babies, it shall come to pass. When the poor is now the one who is rich in the family, it shall come to pass. When the tenant is now the landlord or the landlady, it shall come to pass. When you are boarding your own plane, every time of your choice, it shall come to pass. When you are also marching to your wedding, it shall come to pass. When you are also organizing your wedding, your wedding meetings, it shall come to pass. When you receive the favor, it shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus, my Bible declares, it shall come to pass. My friend, it has delayed. But it shall come to pass. Everybody is laughing. Everybody is mocking. Everybody is criticizing. Everybody is minimizing. But it shall come to pass. And when it comes, the Lord shall overturn the tables. And the right things shall be put on top. In the name of Jesus, it shall come to pass. As I declare now in a place of prayer. As I declare now in a place of prayer. It shall come to pass. Let it happen now. Now, I say, let it happen now in the name of Jesus. Let it happen now. It shall come to pass the glory of God. 
I said the glory of God shall bring it about. I said the glory of God shall bring it about. Father, I thank you that I shall come to pass. For it shall come to pass on that day, on this day, that his yoke shall be lifted from off your shoulders and his burden from off your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. I raise the anointing to break every yoke. I raise the, bre- the yoke breaking anointing upon you right now the yoke breaking anointing upon you now in the name of Jesus you've been afraid about your children that says the Lord do not fear do not fear about your children God has handled that God is working on that I said God is working on that in the name of Jesus I said God is working on that you do not fear do not fear I said do not fear God is working on that in the name of Jesus God is working on that in the mighty name of the Lord. The Lord shall make a way where there is supposed to be no way. The Lord shall make a way. The Lord shall make a way. The Lord shall make a way. I say our God shall make a way. Do not fear. Do not fear. The Lord shall make a way. Do not fear. The Lord will do it. I said the Lord will do it. I said the Lord will do it. In the name of Jesus, I can see an open door. I can see an open door of seven jobs. Seven jobs are being released. Pick yours right now. In the name of Jesus, you shall testify. You shall testify. In the name of the Lord, I can see doors opening. Doors for jobs, seven jobs, seven jobs in the name of Jesus. I can see your project is receiving funding in the name of the Lord. Your project is receiving funding in the name of the Lord. Father, I am here. I bow down before thee and I am praying for this minister of the gospel that is almost quitting, that wants to quit. My brother, my sister, I am praying for you. The Bible declares. The Bible declares, uh, do not be weary in doing well, uh, for you shall grow, you shall reap uh, if you do not quit. Uh, you shall reap uh, if you do not faint. Uh, you shall reap uh, if you do not give up. Uh, I don't know who I'm talking to, but there is a brother, there is a sister in the Lord, uh, a minister of the gospel, a minister of the gospel, a pastor friend, uh, my dear friend. Uh, I am here praying, uh, I am here praying, uh, and I, I discourage uh, every spirit of discouragement. Uh, I pray. Every spirit of, of, of battle fatigue in the name of Jesus. I break it right now. I break it right now in the name of Jesus. I break it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I break it right now. Not devil, not devil, not devil, not devil, not devil, not devil will be able, no devil will be able to stand against you. No devil will be able to stand against you in the name of Jesus. I am praying, Father, may you bring support for this ministry. I am praying, Father, may you bring, bring support up. May you open the windows of heaven and rain support up for the work of the ministry in the name of Jesus. I am praying, let God open that door. I am praying, let God open that door. I thank you, Jesus. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you praise. You are so worthy, my Father. You are so worthy, my king. You are so awesome. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Fear not. The Lord says he will help you. Fear not. The Lord says he will make a way for you. Fear not. The Lord says... him and you will never be put to shame the Lord says I will give you back all the years which the locusts the caterpillars the canker worms and the palm worms have eaten fear not fear not you are not alone God is with you fear not not in Jesus mighty name Amen and Amen praise the Lord praise the Lord my dear friends
thank you for being with us at the prophetic prayer moment. There is a time to pray. The Lord says that they that seek him shall find him. If we seek him with all our hearts, we shall find him. God desires that we seek him. God desires that we call upon his name. God desires that we worship him in spirit and in truth. God desires that we stay closer and closer to him every day. God desires that we call upon him. God desires that we involve him in our day-to-day -day issues. God desires. He wants to help you because he has all the powers. He has all the power and is waiting for you. They that seek the Lord shall never be put to shame. Your Bible declares that they shall be like Mount Zion, immovable, unshakable. When you seek the Lord, you can never be put to shame. So my dear friend, my dear friend, let us pay a time and seek the Lord. And thank you for joining the prophetic prayer moment every time so we can be praying together. This is the hour of recommitting ourselves to God. Some of you are watching me and you are not walking in a perfect relationship with God. You don't have a personal relationship with God. God is inviting you to have a personal relationship with Him. He wants to save your life. He wants to be your leader. He wants to go ahead of you. The Bible declares, I will go before you. I will straighten your crooked places. I will level your mountains. I will fill your valleys. I will give you treasures hidden in dark places. Do you know that the devil steals from God's people and hides their treasures in dark places where you cannot locate it? Some of your blessing is in dark places. Some of your treasures are in dark places. Some of you, your favor has been hidden in dark places. The devil came, he stole your blessing and hid it in dark place. So the Bible declares, I will give you treasures hidden in dark places. The devil came and stole the blessing of your family and hid it in a dark place. The devil came and stole the blessing of your children and hid it in a dark place. So when you seek the Lord and have a personal relationship with God, he will go before you. The Lord knows where the devil hid your prosperity, where the devil hid your happiness. Some of you are married. Since you got married, you have never had happiness in your marriage. But when we seek the Lord, he will go before us and give to us treasures hidden in dark places. Isaiah 45. You know, it is the will of God that he goes before you. When God leaves you, you cannot miss you cannot miss your blessing. He knows where the devil hid it. And it is the Lord's hand which can reveal it to you that you may grab it. You need the Lord, my friend. You need the love of God. I want to let you know, however far you are removed from God, God is not your enemy. God is not your enemy. You cannot afford God to be your enemy. Never. He is your friend. The Bible says he's a friend that sticks closer than even a brother. He is a friend. And he wants to help you. He wants to save you. 
He wants to intervene in your life. You are crying every day and every night. You don't know what to do. You don't know whom to turn to. People have disappointed you so much until you hate people. You have hated everybody, including yourself. You have hated everybody, including your spouse. You have hated everybody, including your children. You have hated everybody, including your parents. You feel you are alone in this world, including even yourself. You don't love yourself. And you don't know what is happening to you. It is the Lord that can restore to you. He knows where the devil hid your joy. He knows where the devil hid your peace. He knows where the devil hid the treasure of your family. Your family is poor. Everybody in your family is poor. Everybody that tries to rise up, they get infected either by HIV or AIDS. They die. You don't know what is happening to you. But the Lord says, I will go before you. I will level your mountain. I will fill your valley. I will give you, oh my God, I will give you treasures. Hidden in dark places. Everybody has treasures which were stolen by the devil. And the devil hid them in dark places where you cannot locate it without the light of God. Where you cannot locate it without the cross. Where you cannot locate it without the shed blood of Jesus. Which you cannot locate without the direction, the compass of the Holy Spirit. You need the compass of the Holy Spirit to locate your treasure, to locate your righteousness. To locate your right standing with the God, you need the compass of the Holy Spirit. Now I'm inviting you, my friend, if you want to be a sold out soldier for the Lord Jesus Christ, that you may be used as, as an instrument to bring your family back to the cross, to bring your family back to Jesus, to bring your family back to the life of redemption. You want to give your life to Jesus. You can make this prayer with me or after me with your head bowed. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Please forgive me of all my sins. Wash me from all my right unrighteousness. Remove my names from the book of judgment write them in the book of life. From now on, I declare I'm never an enemy with, of God. I am a friend of God. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me, for dying for me, and for forgiving my sins. Remove my names from the book of judgment and write them in the book of life. From now on, I believe with my heart and confess with my tongue that Christ is Lord and I am saved. Amen. Now that you made that prayer, you are saved. Praise the Lord. You are a child of God. You are a child of the cross. You belong to God. You belong to Jesus. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Mighty name. Thank you so much, our righteous media, Brother Isaac, Brother Jonah, and Sister Eunice, for uh, what you're doing to ensure that this program reaches to everybody as clear as it is. And thanks to my wife, Prophetess Brenda Binaisa, for praying always in the background that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will touch and heal everybody watching this program. May God bless you. Pastor Emmanuel Binaisa, I want to hear from you. Send us a message. We shall read it and the Lord will bless you. Amen.